I'm scared. I'm scared for as long as he's alive. Was it for the love of this woman that Robert Ackerman brutally killed three people? Drove my left hand, just pulled it back, popped him right in the back of the head. Even police are stunned. I've never seen anything like that. While the confessed killer flaunts his crime. I don't really give a shit about people, I don't care. If I did, could I have done that? Three victims shot point blank in the head in part because of rage and obsession born of love. To call us love? I mean, I, I think it's beyond love. <laughs> she calls herself Allah. At 22 years old, she's taking a year off from college to perform nightly in Las Vegas as an exotic dancer. Last April, she performed her first nude dance for Robert Ackerman. It wouldn't be her last. You got a private dance with me once. And then uh, he started coming in more and more and spending more and more money on me as his trips progressed. Allah says to see her dance, her 27-year-old customer was soon driving the four and a half hours from his home in Los Angeles to Las Vegas every weekend. He would actually get really upset if somebody else, like some other customer, came up and asked me, you know, to um, entertain him. He would be like, no she's occupied for the rest of the night. I mean, he would get really upset. Alla knew nothing about Ackerman, except that he was spending thousands of dollars for her to dance for him in the club every weekend. But Robert Ackerman wasn't a rich man. In reality, he was an out-of-work manager from a trucking company. He wasn't earning a dime. In July, Ackerman finally ran out of money. He was in debt approximately $95,000. Saying she was going out of town, the exotic dancer told him to stop calling her, and then she changed her number. Broke, out of work, and upset because Allah wouldn't see him anymore, things came to a head in October. Living in Visalia, California, Ackerman went out drinking with an acquaintance, 23-year-old Scott George. He had been out uh, drinking with Scott George and uh, felt this rage come on that he took the gun and, and just shot the boy four times. Robert Ackerman talked about that night in an interview. It just happened, but I knew I had to finish it. I mean, what am I going to do, take him home? Sorry, I just shot your kid in the head. In November, Ackerman moved to Medford, Oregon with his mother. He was not yet connected to Scott George's disappearance, but another family was about to be destroyed. Um. Bob and Vernon just taste me. Three-year-old Hannah Ellis is talking about her grandma, Roxanne Ellis. Roxanne shared her life with Michelle Abdil, whom the baby called Bubba. They were a lesbian couple running a successful real estate agency with the help of Roxanne's daughter, Lori. On December 4th, Robert Ackerman asked to see one of their apartments for rent. And he felt that he could lure these people away from their place of business. Uh, get their keys, go to their homes and rob them, and uh, he ended up shooting the women. Boom, shot one, she kind of wheezed out, and the other one, and the other one probably was shocked, and it just fast shot her. Police found the couple's bodies in the back of their pickup truck across town. Their uh, hands were taped with duct tape behind their back, their feet were bound together, and they had duct tape over their eyes and over their mouth. Their killer reportedly left their jewelry, purses, and money with them. Hannah Ellis had lost her grandmother's. Oh. According to Allah, four days later, Ackerman showed up in Las Vegas. I was shocked to see him. I was. When I, when I saw him, he was like shaking a little bad. He told me I killed two people on Monday. He told me that. And then Allah says he threatened to kill her, the woman he called his girlfriend. He was angry. He started telling me how much he loved me and that I never cared for him, nobody did, you know. I asked him not to kill me. <laughs> I, 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 I told him, like, haven't you done enough? I'm like, if what you're telling me is the truth, I'm like, how could you ever do that? He's like, I don't care about other people. He's like, I don't care. Three days later, Robert Ackerman was arrested at a motel near his father's home in Stockton, California. He still had his gun, 
the silencer spattered with blood. In jail, Ackerman bragged of his crimes to whomever would listen, and in jailhouse letters, he told Allah of his private torment. I would have killed everyone on this planet, if possible, to have you back, and I would have felt no regret because the pain I was suffering was already hell. And he finally told his father, Ken, where to find Scott George's body, at the bottom of a mine shaft on Ken's ranch. Yet after all of this, Alla is on her way to Medford, Oregon. She wants to see her former customer one more time in jail. I go see him. Apparently he loved me, you know. I feel a woman trapped before, before he dies. In phone calls to her, Alla says the confessed killer has told her he plans to commit suicide. For a half hour, he talks to her on the telephone through the heavy plate glass. And when it is over, Allah leaves crying uncontrollably. <laughs> I'm more scared of Robert now. I'm, I mean, I'm just scared of him. He's a freak. He told me that he's got a plan to escape. He's like, don't completely think that I'm out of your life. He's like, I will be back. We will be together.